Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the 7th episode of Yudu Camp. So, we are now ready to go camping. The last episode, the Nadeshko and Rin pretty much got set up for it. They bought the supplies at the supermarket, the meat, what they could get. And yeah, they finally got to the lakeside campsite and they're gonna camp. So, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1, play. Yeah, the autumn colors. But but yeah, Nadeshko was not a fan of the ghost stories, so that's gonna be fun. Or not, who knows really, just to throw your money and hope for the best, I guess. I don't know. Neither can I, it's probably just a free branch being in the way. I'm going home. Yeah, a friend from school. Oh. Are you serious? He's a... Okay, then I guess that would explain why he showed up into the story. So, camping clearly runs in the family, so... So my grandfather is a veteran camper. Uh. I wonder if we'll actually see more of him in the show. But yeah, the episode should mostly focus on just Ren and Adeshko. What if you can see your house from there, Nadeshko? Have you tried? Get back in the tent, Ren. This is no time to go for a walk. Boop, 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 boop. You know, if the tent moves that much, it's going to shoot into space. Yeah, those nice autumn colors. Well... Practically, which means that it's not... <laughs> uh, it's fine, you know, if there's a ghost that attacks, I'm sure they'll attack the less important characters over there. Nadeshko. Uh, yeah, that'd probably, that'd probably be a good idea. Yeah, surround yourself with trees so that ghost monsters can't get you. She's admiring your tent. Well, there, there are different types of tents. Like, slight differences. Yeah, you can either clip it or kind of sleeve it through. <laughs> Apparently they have eyes, too, so... You know. Tends to make you feel like you're being watched while you're sleeping. Yeah, just whatever you're, you know, find easier to set up. Yeah. 
Uh, that's life for you. Yeah, ground to shit though. Don't you know that? That's why it's a shit on the ground. Yeah, for some reason the ground is always so dirty. <laughs> uh, like she's been conditioned to think, hey, I'm excited about this, I bet it's expensive. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's get work done before we ask too many questions. When camping, you always want to get set up down as quickly as you can because you don't want to set up in the dark. <laughs> Maximum warm and comfy there. Yeah, might want to get up. Oh, do I? Yeah, once you have the camp set up all finished, you just sit back, relax, enjoy some hot chocolate wrapped up in a blanket. Enjoy the view. Enjoy staying next to one of the best girls of the season, you know. <laughs> what does she do when she's not on screen? <laughs> does she have a life? Uh, three or four. I set up a camping tent in the backyard. But yeah, her grandpa's a big camper, so obviously she'd have stuff to use. And then I learned I hated people, so I camped at the off-season when nobody else was around. <laughs> yeah, she's always gonna be that granny. Only if you stop talking like that. <laughs> but I haven't taken any nudes of you, I mean, what? Are you- are you sure that's not a chocolate bar? I mean, you should just take a bite of it to see if it's chocolate. You should not sound very confident with this, Ren, are you sure about this? Uh, meanwhile, you have Rin Nadeshko playing with her smaho, taking pictures of the most important things like sinks. The kind of photos that she would show her grandchildren, being the granny she is. Or saying hi to the neighbors, that works too. Now the guy looks a lot like uh, Rin's one friend. Or, you know, they just have a lot of resources, one of the two. Apparently somebody knows how to enjoy a camping trip. And that's when she decided to just nope out of there. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I didn't really get that impression, but... <laughs> uh, use the rest of the chocolate. But after you take a bite of it first. Don't get lost, Nadeshko. I know you're, I know you're thinking about it, but don't get lost. Rina's not going to want to have to hunt you down in the middle of the night. Find you crying next to a tree. Clutching your smaho in your hands. Is it going to say hi? <laughs> uh, don't eat it. It did nothing to you. Uh, is there any time I see Nadezhko on screen by herself doing anything, I just get so anxious. Waiting for her to do something terrible. That's always how it goes. Something looks easy in a video, then you try it. Realize how much of a failure you are at life. <laughs> uh, I brought a person who probably knows what he's doing.
Well, you found out the hard way. <laughs> Big box. Huh. When you get somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Yeah, fire tongue. It's not your fingers, Nadeshka. Yeah, we're a couple, didn't you know? <laughs> Close enough. Depending on the art style, you really can't tell if characters are supposed to be high school or middle school. So generally, you just assume with high with anime that it's high school because it's the most common one. The only middle school anime that comes to mind is probably Yudo Yuri. <laughs> uh. She serious. She takes a granny role play pretty seriously. <laughs> uh, can you repeat that slower and better? I guess I answer that question, older sister. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense to me than couple. And now we wait. Of course, meat is the main dish, isn't it always? <laughs> don't, don't burn the campsite down. You'll have to share tents with your neighbors, and that could be awkward. <laughs> Maybe a bit. But let's turn it up even higher and see what happens. Makes sense. Yoi, <laughs> Yeah, Benedeshko, she's uh, yeah, she's all set. You want to come in, Ren? Plenty of room. <laughs> uh, it's a must have product. But yeah, that definitely looks good. Not with your fingers, don't touch. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. They were nice enough to help them out with the with getting their fire started, so the least they can do is share some of their food. I mean, they'll probably share some stuff in return anyway. <laughs> oh, God. You know, Nadeshko's sister is still a best sister in this show. Yeah, not as great as Nadeshko's sister. A teacher? I mean, this is anime we're talking about, so I guess that's fine. I mean, yeah, what's wrong with that? You know, the kids might want a sip or two. Yeah, depending on how strict the school is, it might not be a good idea either. We're not interrupting anything, are we? Nadeshko tells me you're a couple. I demand half your alcohol as compensation, or as trade. <laughs> yeah, my oldest sister just keeps drinking alcohol, so she doesn't have much room for food anyway, so you might as well take some of it. Some big glasses she wears. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, you know. That would definitely improve their camping trip if they got drunk. I mean, yeah, that'd be, I'd greatly improve things. Captain Rum. Best Rum. <laughs> that they are. I 
I actually don't remember the name of their high school because I don't think they've said it very much. But if she does become a te high school teacher, I'm sure it would be at their school, yeah. I mean, pretty much everything you've ever stuck in your mouth that you've said is delicious, so... I remember that ramen scene. Blow, blow, eat. <laughs> of course you did. You'd lose your head if it wasn't attached to you. <laughs> Don't burn your mouth. Otherwise, the dish will have to kiss and make it feel better. <laughs> that poor piggy being eaten by Rand. More like that lucky piggy. Wait, wouldn't you need a boat? Unless they rent them out. Okay. <laughs> Shot down immediately. Yeah, because you brought a lot of stuff in Eshko. Eating a cow next? Nice. <laughs> Just one. Ow. Yeah, pretty good. So, who's ready for marshmallows? And... Okay. The moon, why do you ask? Yeah, good old tiny Mount Fuji. <laughs> I realized it was actually bigger than it looked. And then she was asleep. Yeah. Yeah, you never would have. You never would have been able to become friends and be camping together. <laughs> Just a bit, Granny. <laughs> yes, go for it. <laughs> yeah. How would you feel if she got eaten by some bull monster? The least you can do is let her sleep in your tent and your sleeping bag with you. Or some other kind of lotion. I mean, if I was camping with her, I would need some lotion as well. <laughs> Don't worry, Nineshko. All I have to do is wait for Rin to fall asleep, and then you sneak into her tent. Once you're actually in there laying next to her and she's like half asleep, she'll be like, nah, whatever. I guess she's fine in here. <laughs> wow. I like that she waits till Nineshko and can no longer see her before she says this stuff. Because I'm sure it's embarrassing for her to say, but... Yeah. Clearly, Rin is happy enough about this whole situation to continue with it if she's saying, I'll invite you next time. Of course, we saw from the very beginning of the show that you know, the, the whole group will camp together eventually. Bathroom break. Possibly a run-in with the bull monster. I assume... well, I don't know. That actually is, and actually the color scheme fits with your hair pretty nicely. It is pretty cool. Most of them not when camping actually been at the lake, so... Run back to tents now. <laughs> but yeah, probably just what's what's the his older sister? Yeah, those were not horns, they were just trees. 
Three branches. <laughs> uh, so what was that about not being real? I bet you wish, uh, oh, <laughs> we're gonna do the reverse. <laughs> Nadeshko, let me sleep with you. I had a bad dream. So the end result was pretty much the same. <laughs> And she's gonna wake up next to a cute girl. Doesn't get much better than that, as far as mornings go. Would've been better if she was actually pretty much facing her, but oh well. And wow, Nadeshko does look pretty cute herself when she's, you know, not talking. <laughs> uh, I guess that's one way to cuddle. Yeah, Nadeshko is pretty great as well, even though Rin's clearly my favorite. I definitely like Nadeshko as well. Even though she's very silly. Is she in a boat? Uh, you missed the boat, Rand. I'm traveling in style. <laughs> uh, I do just quite like their relationship. They're very different people, but they obviously very much like each other. Of course, you had, you know, Rand giving Nadeshko a gift in the last episode. And apparently he's willing to sleep with her. Even if it took a little bit of, you know, nudging in the right direction by a certain bull monster. Slash teacher. Slash drunk teacher. Wake up, Nadeshko. The anime's gonna start without you. I mean, I feel like I said this a thousand times, but this is such a relaxing show. I almost wish I could, like, watch her while laying down in bed. <laughs> It'd make reacting difficult, to be fair. I had to completely change my setup, but... Just have my monitor on the ceiling. I don't know where I put the camera or the microphone, but... I could probably work it out. You know, if I was determined enough, which I'm not. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because you need a larger club room. <laughs> Maybe the small room is finally getting to her. <laughs> I know, right? I would hate that so much. Although I would put up with it if I was in a club full of cute girls. <laughs> we get a mascot character. A dog with bunny ears is perfect. The best way to draw it is riding circles in the picture. A Shiba Inu. I mean, what other dog would you get, really? That pun. That pun almost hurt. But yeah, I, I think the Shiba Inu is the best option there. Although the Nyan turn could grow on me. <laughs> uh, that's that's the best right there. So that was the seventh episode of Yudu Camp. Another really great episode. So this time we had camping. I know that's really new for the show. But they had one neighbor, one camping neighbor this time, which turned out to not be a couple. It was a guy and his older sister. Well, I guess they technically could be a couple, but probably not. I certainly didn't get that impression from them. But anyway, they were pretty nice. Well, the... <laughs> The younger brother was pretty nice. The older sister was just kind of a, a drunk. We didn't really get to see much of her beyond that. Beyond that characteristic. Although we did find out that she, I guess she's going to be a teacher at a high school, which is, I'm almost positive, would be a high school run everyone goes to. Though I don't remember the name of their high school because this isn't really a high school anime. Like, the main characters are technically high school age. They technically go to high school, but the, the plot does not center around high school, if that makes sense. But anyway, they were camping. Rin apparently was trying some new coals or whatever that she wasn't really experienced with, so she was having some issues with that. And Nadeshko just goes over to the nearest camper and says, Hey, I brought somebody to help, and he was able to help. 
And yeah, he got them all fi- all, all situated. And they were able to make a bunch of delicious food, especially meat, like top quality meat. And because they helped her out, helped them out, they were more than willing to share some of their food with them, and they shared some food with them. And I think the old sister was going to share some alcohol with them, but they are a little bit underage, so not the best idea. So I, I wish they would, did take it, because nothing makes a camping trip better than alcohol, really. You know, don't have to worry about any designated drivers since you're going to be sleeping there anyway, so, you know, it's great. You know, until you leave the tent in the middle of the night because you're feeling sick, you know. But yeah, we did have also the, the subplot with the ghost, the bull monster. Because that's when Nadesh and Nadeshko was worried about. And yeah, it's freaking Nadeshko. Rim was like, hey, if you're worried about this, just go to bed early, you know, it'll be fine. Nadeshko was like, oh, I didn't think about that. That's brilliant. I'm so happy now. And that's what we got from that. But Nadeshko did want to sleep in Rin's tent for protection because Rin, Rin's a very tough girl. I'm sure she could protect her if anything was to happen. But Rin was like, nah, nah, the tent's kind of cramped. I don't need more people in here. It's, it's, it's good. It's fine. You'll just go in your tent. It'll be okay. So Nadeshko did. However, Ren drank a lot of liquid, had to go to the bathroom, as you do. And on the way back, she actually saw the bull monster, or what she thought was, and hightailed it out of there. It turned out just to be the oldest sister in a tree behind her, but, you know, it's kind of a situation where you're not going to stick around long enough to analyze the situation and figure out what's going on. You just go back to your tent. Or in this case, you go back to Nadeshko's tent. So, in the end, they did end up sleeping in the same tent, sleeping together. Which Nadeshko was clearly happy about when she woke up, and she was all happy. And I don't know, I don't know what it was, but when Nadeshko first woke up, that, that was like the prettiest she has looked in the whole episode. I don't know, just something about the way the face was drawn, but you know, she just kind of rolled over and started snuggling with Rin, which was great. So, you know, that was nice. And I think that was pretty much the end of the episode. So I was actually surprised that we actually got stuff with the neighboring campers. I wasn't really expecting that. But yeah, you had Nadeshko traveling around, taking pictures with her smile, and she talked to them, you know, to see what's up. After she saw the older sister, you know, drinking, she was like, okay, I think I've had enough. I'm going to go take more pictures now. And she did. And Nadeshko's also quite keeping up with that uh, granny theme. Like, she she really has grown attached to that. So that's always good for a chuckle here and there. And apparently one of the biggest reveals of the episode was the guy that Chiaki talked to in the previous episode seems to actually be Rin's grandfather. So was who was a camping veteran, who was probably a big reason why Rin became... As interested with camping as she is, she always had the hand-me-downs to work with. And I still like to imagine she just camped out in her backyard as her first camping experience. I still like to believe that, but... Anyway, yeah, that was brought up because Nadeshko was like, Hey, what was your first time camping and all that? She wanted to know about Rin's first time. Because Rin's obviously aware of Nadeshko's first time because it was kind of with her. You know, one of the early episodes, but... Anyway, that was the episode. Time to wait for the next one. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.